Hello everyone! Welcome to our English learning journey with movies. Let's explore and improve our English together. Nod off. How does she do that? I cannot sleep in a public place. <laughs> Would you look at her? She's so peaceful. Yeah. No! Ah, what? 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 <laughs> what? It's okay, you know, you just nodded off again. Uh, what's going on with you? I got no sleep last night. Why? My grandmother has this new boyfriend. <laughs> and they're both kind of insecure and bad. So, and deaf. <laughs> so they're constantly, like, having to reassure each other that they're having a good time. You have no idea how loud they are. Well, if you want, you can stay with Rachel and me tonight. Thanks. Nod off, meaning to begin to sleep, usually when you do not intend to and are sitting somewhere. Example, after our busy day, we both sat and nodded off in front of the TV. Three, two, one. Nodding off. Just nodding off. Around dawn, Jane nodded off, but I couldn't sleep. Ah, uh, 47, 48 minutes. I'm not sure I nodded off for a while. I'm comfy. I'm so comfy, I'm nodding off, actually. It's like you nodded off there, buddy. Say, you got a minute? Yes, you've been almost nodding off for two and a half hours now. <laughs> now I, I waited for an opportunity for Andy to nod off, and when he did, I used the pick to cut through the ropes that he had tied my hands and feet with, and then I just ran like hell. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Wait. I can understand Dave nodding off on the train and pervert here having a couple of flashbacks. And this is none of your fucking business, but... As he were nodding off to travel at will in his sleep. The glass is half empty or full. Hey, hey. there's the birthday boy. <laughs> Ross, check it out. Hockey tickets, Rangers, Penguins, tonight at the Garden, and we're taking you. Happy birthday, pal. We love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, my birthday was seven months ago. <laughs> so? So I'm guessing you had an extra ticket and couldn't decide which one of you got to bring a date? Huh? Well, aren't we, mister, the glass is half empty. <laughs> the glass is half empty or full, meaning to indicate that a particular situation could be a cause for pessimism or optimism. Example, even in difficult times, I try to see the positive aspects of the situation. For me, the glass is always half full. Three, two, one. Glass is always half full. Oh, yeah. The glass is half full. I'm a glass half full type of girl. Now, Billy is looking at the glass half full. What'd you see? Yeah, yes, I understand glass half full perspective. I've always been a glass is half full kind of guy myself. You're such a glass half full kind of guy. <laughs> oh, you're wrong. I see the glass half full, but of poison. Well, to be fair, you do tend towards a glass half full attitude. I think a lot of people say the glass is half empty and the glass is half full. And for me, the glass is not half empty and the glass is not half full to me. Pass on. Oh my god. Oh. Is today the 20th? October 20th? I was hoping you wouldn't remember. Oh. What's wrong with the 20th? 11 days before Halloween, all the good costumes are gone. <laughs> Today's the day Carol and I first consummated our physical relationship. And sex. <laughs> You know what, I, I better pass on the game. I think I'm just going to go home and think about my ex-wife and her lesbian lover. Pass on, meaning to refuse an opportunity or decide not to take part in something. Example, he passed on the chance to be head coach and took a job in Florida. Three, two, one. Vincent passed on the project. No, no thanks, I will pass on that. You're not. No, I passed on that job. Oh, I think I'm just going to pass on this one. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on the sex, if you don't mind. <laughs> He's got cappuccino. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pass on the coffee. Thank you. Um, you passed on Goldman without even talking to me? Do you want me to teach you how? Uh, nah, I'm going to pass on that. So you're saying that you think I would be stupid to pass on this offer? They're passing on this one, but they're definitely interested in not seeing my other projects. So turns out I can't fly. Take someone's mind off. Come on, Ross, you, me, Joey, Ice Guys Night Out. Come on, what do you say, big guy, huh? 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 What are you doing? I have no idea. 
Come on, Russ. All right, all right. Maybe it will take my mind off it. You promise to buy me a big foam finger? You got it. All right. <laughs> Take someone's mind off, meaning to make somebody forget about something unpleasant for a short time. Example, the good thing about running is that it takes my mind off any problems I have. Three, two, one. Take my mind off of it. You want to watch a movie? Take our mind off things? You know, to take your mind off of what it really is, nasty wear. Take your mind off what you really want. Come with me. It'll be really, really fun, and it'll take your mind off things. I mean, if you want to go take your mind off of it. Can you uh, not do that? There's yeah. this amazing... Takes my mind off the broken teeth and the shabby clothes. It would actually really help me take my mind off things. I don't know. I guess all the stress took my mind off wanting a baby, so... God, you just felt the need to remind me. Uh, a very close friend of mine, who happened to be a Republican, was running for the Senate and told me to come and work on his campaign to take my mind off... off the grief. Live on something. God, isn't this exciting? I earned this. I wiped tables for it, I steamed milk for it, and it was totally not worth it. <laughs> Who's FICA? Why is he getting all my money? <laughs> but I want to chill or look at that. Oh, this is not that bad. Well, you're fine, yeah, for a first job. You can totally, totally live on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, great service to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> live on something, meaning to have a particular amount of money to buy food and other necessary things. Example, I don't know how they manage to live on 55 pounds a week. Three, two, one. Now, your income, are you able to live on it? It's $75 an hour, and we can't live on my salary. Now, don't worry, honey. We can live on our Instacash card for a month or two. It's the one job basically any woman can get and make a living on. He's had me living on $150 a month for the last 10 years. And without the settlement, you know I can't live on my pay. Of course I do. We can't go on living on one income anymore. Well, do you think we can live on what I make as a senator? Like, potentially extremely lucrative. I'll hopefully make enough money to live on, and I'll get to, like, live, capital L. Now we all had to earn enough to live on and put something away for our house. Stay over. Hey, Rach, how was it with your friends? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, how would you like some tiki death punch? What's that? Well, it's rum and... Okay. <laughs> We thought since Phoebe was staying over tonight, we'd have kind of like a slumber party thing. We got some trashy magazines, we got cookie dough, we got Twister. Stay over, meaning to sleep at someone's house for one night. Example, why don't you stay over and drive back in the morning? Three, two, one. She stayed over? Yeah. <laughs> ben, you're staying over tonight, right? Uh... Hey, look, 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 seriously. Look, why don't you stay over? I don't think I'm going to be able to stay over tonight. Ask her to stay over at a hotel with you tonight. I wonder if after we're married, the princesses will stay over with us. Just stay over tonight. We'll leave first thing in the morning. Would it be okay if, if Amy stayed over at my house tonight? You know, by the way, if you ever just want to, you know, get away, have a little hang time, we're staying over at the Rising Star apartment. You won't let me play stalker, you won't let me stay over at Jason's, and now you won't tell me what's going on and why you're acting so weird all the time? Come together. Okay, but Phoebs, Phoebs, Jack gave up a cow, I gave up an orthodontist. Okay, I, I know, I know I didn't love him, but, oh, see, Jack did love the cow. <laughs> but see, it was a plan, you know, it was clear, everything was figured out, and now everything's just kind of like... Floopy? Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're not the only one. I mean, half the time we don't know where we're going. I mean, you just got to figure at some point it's all going to come together and it's just going to be unfloopy. <laughs> like that's a word. <laughs> come together, meaning to happen or form successfully. Example, the project is a bit disorganized at the moment, but I'm sure things will come together eventually. Three, two, one. Now it's all coming together. Everything's gonna come together. It's what's meant to be. 
And if this, you know, if all this comes together right, and it should, I, I, I... It's all coming together. Perfectly. That Chicago trip, I was convinced it was all going to come together for me there. I suppose if I miss anything, it's that feeling when everything comes together. You know? But I really feel like my moment's coming, and when it does, everything's just going to come together, you know? You feel such a sense of jubilation when the picture comes together. And the next paragraph, you find yourself starting from scratch. They research and they are always hunting down new materials and seeking out ways to make it all come together, you know. The plan was coming together, and in six days, the Knicks would be champions and he would be gone. Bring someone down. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to bring you down. No, you were right. I don't have a plan. <laughs> bring someone down, meaning to make someone feel sad, discouraged, or depressed. Example, I know you're feeling stressed about work, but don't let it bring you down. Three, two, one. I'm gonna bring you down. Come on, don't bring me down. Where are you going? I'm going to bring you down, Fritton. Embrace that. Nothing created by man can bring you down. I spent a lot of years trying to bring you down, bub. Alas, I have no appetites. That brings you down. I know, and I'm just saying, you can't let it, you can't let it bring you down. Yes. Listen to me. A single vermin can bring you down. When tragedy befalls you, don't let them bring you down. And every owner, every trainer, every jockey out there is going to be trying to bring us down. Spy on somebody or something. I see pizza! Oh, I want to see. Let me see. Let me see. Hello? Who are we spying on? You know the White House advisor? Clinton's campaign guy? The one with the great hair, sexy smile, really cute butt? Oh, him, the little guy. Oh, I love him. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I see a woman. Tell me it's his mother. Definitely not his mother. Oh, no. Oh, wait, she's walking across the floor. She's walking, she's walking. She's going for the pizza. Hey, that's not for you, bitch! <laughs> Spy on somebody or something. Meaning, to watch someone or something secretly, often in order to discover information about him, her, or it. Example, she sent you to spy on me, didn't she? Three, two, one. Are you spying on me? <laughs> I can't spy on her anymore. It's weird. So you spied on me in my sleep? I didn't spy on you, Mrs. Price, but someone has. And I remember my brothers, my brothers used to spy on me when I was taking a shower, or they would like rub themselves up against me. How could you have some guy you don't even know spy on me? I think the less they know about us spying on them, the better, don't you? They steal your private information so that big business can spy on you and crush your soul. Really? I am happy for you though, Miha. I don't know how to say this, but um, my wife says that your dog is spying on her in the backyard. Please tell me you are not suggesting that Bob Wallace would use his daughter to spy on you and your stupid contest. <laughs> yeah. Draw someone out. Light still out? Yeah. Uh, maybe they're napping. <laughs> oh, please. They're having sex. Shut up! <laughs> No. What do you think George is like? I think he's shy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, th I think you have to draw him out. And then, when you do, he's a preppy animal. <laughs> draw someone out. Meaning, to help someone to express their thoughts and feelings more easily by making that person feel less nervous. Example, like all good interviewers, he manages to draw people out of themselves. Three, two. Why? To draw him out carefully. I'm just trying to draw him out. Draw him out. Don't spook him. Act normal. Silent treatment. We should draw him out by not engaging. You think what happened to Stone with Sun will draw him out? Walter Sherwood, I'm out here beating the bushes trying to draw him out. We're in this together. Let me guess. You haven't slept with her because. 
It's more fun when you can draw it out. Use those memories to draw her out of your vessel so that you can get back into your body. And try to draw him out a little bit. If you Warren, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to... I'm, oh, for I don't Christ's know what sake, I'm Gladys, what are you trying to do? Monopolize all the airwaves in this car? But you gotta draw her out, get her to talk about herself, listen to her problems, act like you give a shit just to get her clothes off, and then not even that. Thank you for watching this video.